Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Marissa, the Filipino wife in America. Today, I am going to answer some questions about annulment in connection with K-1 visa petition and at the same time, the tourist visa application. Yes, so those three things are interconnected on this video. So those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. So let's get straight to the point. I have a lot of questions regarding the K-1 visa petition in connection with the annulment. In my previous videos, I put out three videos about my annulment that was done in the Philippines. Now, to make it clear, I was annulled in the Philippines. Why? Because I could not come here if I wasn't annulled in the Philippines. Why again? I had to establish that I was already single before the petition began. In connection with that, the question is, can my boyfriend file a petition for K-1 even if my annulment is going on? Even if my annulment is on process? The answer is definitely not. Why? K-1 means fiancé. Before you become a fiancé, legally, you should be single. You cannot be a fiancé if you are not single. That's why even if the annulment is on process, you are not yet single. You are not sure if the annulment is going to be approved or not. But one thing is sure, you are not single. You are married. So, no K-1 visa petition should be done because that is not going to prosper. I hope I answered the question. In connection with that, if my boyfriend cannot file a petition for me as K-1, can he file a tourist visa petition? Because I am waiting for my annulment. It is a known fact that if you apply for a tourist visa in the Philippines, it is really a difficult thing especially if the one who invites you is your boyfriend so meaning you are not a relative that is not a good thing yes because u.s embassy is so strict when it comes to tourist visa you and your boyfriend are not relatives by blood so therefore a piece of advice for you i won't do it because it's a waste of money and time just wait for your annulment paper to be released and to be final so that you can go directly to a K-1 visa petition. In that way, you have a 95 to 99.9% .9 of approval as long as you meet all the requirements set by USCIS. Those three are interconnected, annulment, K-1 visa petition, and tourist visa. I hope I answered your question. I answered all your questions. Now I'm making it clear. Again, I have to repeat, I was annulled in the Philippines because I could not come here if I wasn't single in the Philippines. You have to be single in order to pass the K-1 visa application because you are a fiancé. So a fiancé should be single. Then, while annulment is going on, you are not yet single. So therefore, you have to wait until the result of the annulment is already final and executory and plus you have the paper from the PSA stating that the marriage you had was already annulled and dissolved so by virtue of the annulment in the Philippines and then for tourist visa a piece of advice do not waste your money because I have seen a lot of videos they are being denied through the tourist visa and even if your relative invites you to come to the US there were situations that they were also denied so don't waste your money thank you for watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you close the video and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos thank you see you on my next video Let's go.